Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios. Another update on the little uh, 1 16th scale Reveal Beetle uh, Pro Street Project. And I haven't done a video for a while. That's because I've been very uh, focused on what I've been doing on this thing. And I had to go back since the last video, make a couple of changes. If everybody remembers, uh, the last video that I've done on it, I was supposed to have the chassis painted by that uh, next Monday after that video and it just did not happen I tried and I, the more I kept looking at things I didn't like certain parts of uh, how my prep work was done so I went back in and made some changes uh, made it the way that I thought it looked good and was ready for paint so finally uh, when did we get this thing painted the chassis was painted uh, last Friday night, I think it was, or Saturday night, something like that. Over the weekend, it got painted. So we finally got over that hurdle, and um, we've got everything mocked up here. And I got some parts um, almost finished. I got some parts that are still going together, and all that happy stuff. So what we'll do is we'll do the handheld thing with the camera. I'll bring it down here. I'll show you an overall view of the car and a couple of the things that we have mocked up, what it's looking like, and... Uh, We'll go from there. So hang on just a minute. Let me get this camera reset. Okay, let's see if we can get it to focus in here. There is the little Beetle project. It uh, doesn't look a whole lot different than the last time that you uh, seen it on video. But we have been making a lot of progress with it. Real happy with it so far. So, um... We'll do a quick run around here of what's going on. Like I say, I did get the chassis painted. And right now, everything's just mocked into position. Nothing is, um, you know, glued in or set in stone. It's just kind of a mock-up. Still fitting panels and, you know, doing cleanup work and stuff like that. So uh, you might see some rough areas on this thing, but uh, it'll all be addressed before it's done. But there's the chassis color. And I got the, uh, just set the seat in place there. So that's going to be the colors for the interior. The tan with the uh, candy apple uh, red uh, metal work. The dash will actually be candy apple red. And then we'll have the tan flocking in it. So uh, I've got some plans for the interior. I think it'll come out pretty good. We'll move on around back here to something that I spent a lot of time on. Uh, this is the ditched uh, parachute assembly that I'm working on now. And or actually, it's pretty much done. Uh, we got a couple more little things to add to it. But other than that, it's... Uh, it's mocked in its um, position that it will be when it's uh, a done model. And we mod we got the uh, parachute in as a resin piece from Ted's Modeling. And we did some modifications on it, put a few more folds and stuff in it. Just uh, kind of cleaned it up, made it look a little bit better. And then I went in and had Sandy print me out the Remove Before Flight tag. And that's just printed on uh, regular photo paper and distressed a little bit and simulated embroidering around the side of it or the edges of it where it would be stitched and you can also see the shoot release cable we have in there uh the flag the tag is hanging off of a uh photo etched cotter pin that is going through the little um black thread that comes out through the parachute grommet uh for the uh, safety part of that and then down underneath you can also see the lanyard cables attached to the bracket with uh rb motion uh bolt and nut so that all looks pretty good. We're real happy with the way the parachute came out. Now we'll move on around to the business end of it here. And as you can see, we did a little bit more work on the engine. And we have the, um, the tensioner assembly in. We're working on the belt guard now. Uh, I did go back in and scratch build a uh, underblower intercooler for this. And we added a few decals to it. I added the uh, blower drive service decal to it. And a couple odds and ends here and there. Uh, I have went back and redone the finish on the blower. This is an Alclad polished aluminum over a uh, bluish purple base. And then if you move on up a little bit, you can see the um, air filters, which are parts by parks. And I got them in from uh, Chevy Cheeseburger, extreme scale detail. And the first ones ordered in were a little bit too big for this project, but uh, these here worked out real well. Uh, I went in and mixed up some... Uh, very thinned out red acrylic uh, Vallejo paint to simulate the uh, red air filters like a K&N. I got a little bit more cleanup to do on those and they'll be um, 
finished, pretty much finished and ready to go on the, the final model. And I still have to drill them and add the photo etched uh, wing nuts to them yet. But you can see the uh, bracket in there on the blower for the linkage. Uh, we scratch built that. And as far as the carburetors themselves, you can see that they are A&N fittings with the hard lines. Uh, most of the models I see out there, uh, people just use the A&N fittings with the uh, stainless lines. And on this one, I wanted to keep everything pretty tidy up on top of the blower, uh, especially with the nitro system and everything going on it, um, and having enough room for everything. So I did the uh, fuel lines in hard line style, and they will be um, hard line over to the distribution block, and then it'll be stainless hose leading into that, uh, the number 10 line. So uh, that's what the engine's looking like. Real happy with all that. It's coming out pretty good. And then down here on the workbench uh, in front of the car, if we can get it to zoom in here a little bit, uh, these are some of the scratch build uh, linkage pieces that we're working on. We have the um, white blocks you see there. They're multi-piece uh, sections that I put together last night. I have to finish drilling them and shaping them and sanding and doing all that. So we have five of those, and they're actually little levers that the rod ends attach to. And then we have two photo etch rod ends there that are going to be used for the um, center shaft, which is right next to them. Uh, that's the spline shaft that the linkage goes on. And we also have the uh, bearing block uh, for the lower part of the linkage there. We scratch built that last night. Then we'll move on over to the uh, scratch built nitrous and fuel solenoids for the nitrous system. Uh, you can see the A&N fittings and the um, stainless hose, and we put some decals on them, did them in a candy blue finish with the uh, silver bottoms, and they are drilled to have the wires run in them. i got to twist up the wiring harness yet, and uh, that will be going in on final assembly, so that's about as far as they're going to go right now. Uh, behind that, you can see the uh, scratch-built monster tack that I've done. Uh, 1 16th scale, it has the shift light with the br uh, bracket and the band that holds it on. Uh, it has the mounting bracket. Uh, it's a 10,000 RPM tack, and I also put in the shift light knob uh, for the adjustment and also the recall switch. And you can see the yellow uh, lens cover over the shift light there. And then behind that, we have the nitrous bottle that we finished up. Uh, we got all the decals on. We got the clear over top of that. Uh, everything polished out and looking good. Uh, we got to add the uh, pressure gauge to it yet, and the A&M fitting and the hose, and that'll be ready to go on the scratch field uh, mounts that I'm working on now. That'll be coming up in another update. And then behind that, that black piece you see back there, uh, my camera's not going to zoom in close enough to see the ribs in it, but it does have the scale ribs in it to match the uh, blower pulleys that's on this, and that is made out of a uh, out of resin. I actually made the master for that and poured it in um, silicone and went ahead and created the uh, resin part and then sanded that down until it's very very thin and all I have to do is add a little bit of heat to it. It will conform around all the um, pulleys the way that I want it to and it will go uh, be seamed together on the lower uh, blower pulley. So that's what we've got so far. It's coming out real good. We're real happy with it, uh, making good progress. So um, that's about it for this video. I want to thank everybody that's uh, left comments on this project and everybody that's following along with it. Uh, it's real nice to know that people are real interested in something that I'm building. So I'm going to try to keep plugging away on this thing and get it done for the show in October. So that's all we've got. So until next time, I want to thank everybody again, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.